In this video, I'm going to show you what snapping tools I use in Blender. Um, so by default, you have a bunch of buttons at the bottom that control your snapping. So you have the magnet that turns it on and off. Uh, you can also hold down control while in a transform to enable or disable that. Um, you can also um, change the snap element. So that can be volume, face, edge, or vertex, or increment. Uh, increment will just be the grid. Uh, and then you also have um, whether you're snapping the active, uh, the active element. Um, the medium element, the center or the closest. Uh, these each behave a little bit differently. It's worth playing around with these. Um, and then there's also the option for whether you want it to snap to um, itself. So whether it can snap to its own mesh or just other meshes. Uh, and then there's another one, which is uh, align rotation with snapping target. This is great for placing objects, um, but uh, I'm going to show you an add-on that kind of speeds it up, and it basically gives you a bunch of uh, presets, which is the ones that you're normally going to use out of these. So out of all these settings, you can you can come up with dozens of different snapping um, methods, uh, but there's there's a handful of very very useful ones. And for that, there's a add-on called Snapset. Um, you can install it um, at this GitHub link, which will be in the description of the video. Um, and once that's installed, you just make sure it's enabled. Um, and then uh, you press Alt 2, as the documentation tells us, you press Alt 2 and it gives you the snap sets menu. So there's absolute grid. So if we click that, now the, uh, the vertex will move along with the grid. There is also um, place object. So this is great for placing objects on top of another mesh and having the rotation also uh, fit along with that. There is the mesh retopo. This one is especially useful for retopologizing meshes. Um, so uh, what it'll do is it'll just snap your selection to the um, to the closest object on it. So you can um, you can just kind of extrude edges over and it'll snap onto the surface. Uh, this is very very useful. Um, then there is the active vertex. So this will be the if you have two selected or more, um, it will go off of the active one um, like this. There is also the closest vertex, so that'll just pick whichever one's closest, it'll use that. Um, both are very useful for different situations. Uh, and then finally, the last two options aren't snapping uh, presets, but they're, um, they're useful nonetheless. So there's 3D cursor to active, um, which just uh, puts your 3D cursor wherever your, uh, your active cursor is, like your active uh, gizmo. Uh, and then there's 3D cursor to selected, which just puts it right in the middle. Um, and it actually does change your, uh, your transform, sorry. So it changes your transform to 3D cursor, I believe, um, which is uh, really useful. So if you want to transform based on, um, on this corner, you can do that. So you could just rotate around that corner then, um, which is super useful. 